Fun fact, every year I make a $2 bet with a friend of mine about the Best Picture Oscar. How does that work, you ask, when there are nine contenders? Simple, we have a little draft where the first pick is decided by a coin toss. Now, there are a lot of contenders every year for the Oscars in a long list of categories. I am not going to be naming every nominee for every category. My goal is to consider the contenders and pick out the projected winner and maybe the runner-up that could be the surprise. I will be looking at four categories due to time constraints. And there they are. Before I start, know that my opinion has no effect on my picks in any way. If it did, a rival would win everything. This is based on a claim alone. I thought, considering all of the movies with Oscar buzz coming out now, it would be hard to make both acting lists. But, if I'm being honest, there are really only two or three legitimate contenders at the moment to take home Oscar gold. The frontrunner is obvious, it's Casey Affleck for Manchester by the Sea. In fact, out of all of these categories, I would put my money on him for the biggest lock. There isn't one review for Manchester by the Sea that has a problem with Affleck in this film. Forget the fact, even, that it has 98% on Rotten Tomatoes, because part of the reason that it does is the talent of Casey Affleck. I mean, every single review points him out as one of the movie's biggest strengths. But, of course, there has to be some sense of wonder in this video, so look for two dark horses if there are any. One is Ryan Gosling for La La Land, because La La Land is frickin' everywhere right now. But the other, I think, is Andrew Garfield for Silence. Although barely any critics have even seen Scorsese's new project yet, the few that have have called it a masterpiece and praised Garfield's work, so yeah. But Casey Affleck is the frontrunner by far. This is the acting category that is more of a toss-up. There have been quite a few worthy performances by actresses this year. In fact, I can't pick a frontrunner at the moment. If I had to, I would give the edge to Natalie Portman, who is fascinating critics with her transforming role as Jackie Kennedy in Jackie. For my dark horse in this category, I have Amy Adams, because not only do critics love her work in Arrival, but many also praise her for nocturnal animals. Therefore, two contenders equals at least a nomination, and the Oscars have left her hanging so many times already that we could see another Leo situation on our hands. Except Amy Adams is actually good in Arrival, unlike Leo in The Revenant. God, you know, that movie is really frustrating. How did that piece of shit win Best Director the same year as this? So the Academy is trying to redeem itself this year after objectively awarding the wrong person in the last go-around. A major difference, though, is the variety of directing found in contenders this year compared to last. A musical, a smart sci-fi, a depressing drama, and a mysterious movie are the four frontrunners. Damien Chazelle represents the musical with Tiff's pick of La La Land. Denis Villeneuve contends with the brilliant sci-fi thinker Arrival. Kenneth Lonergan takes the depressing route with Manchester by the Sea, and Martin Scorsese is Martin Scorsese for silence. I think this race will be tight, like, real tight, but as of now, Damien Chazelle looks to lead the stacked category for Best Director after being robbed in 2014 for Whiplash by this guy. God damn it, two years in a row he has crashed a party and pretended to be the host's best friend and it's not okay! Half of the Revenant is just Leo making frickin' baby noises. Like, literally. Here's where it gets interesting, because like the directing category, this is a major toss-up for best movie of the year. Many critics have already said they will have lots of trouble making their top fives. So let's turn to a little history, shall we? 
Out of 88 Academy Awards, 64 times, a large majority, Best Picture and Best Director went to the same movie. So if we were to go by that, La La Land would be the frontrunner if Damien Chazelle was. However, the two categories have split in three of the last four years, so this really is quite a toss-up. Silence will be most fresh in the minds of the voters as it will be released last, and it also fits the Oscar-winning criteria being a period piece. Having said that, the overwhelming positive critical reception of La La Land does give it the edge, so it is the frontrunner. Out of the four movies that I mentioned in the director category, Arrival, I'd say, is probably the least likely to win, despite being my personal choice. So, there you have it. La La Land and its director, Natalie Portman going for her second, and Casey Affleck finally receiving the recognition he deserves, give us our four frontrunners. But you never know with the Oscars. I mean, 